Hey friends, welcome back to another video. My name is Katie Satilli if you're new here and I post videos every Sunday and Wednesday. So if you haven't yet, make sure you hit that red subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Today I'm gonna to be talking to you all about how I fit three kids in one room. We live in a small condo here in Los Angeles, California, and this is just our current circumstance. And I always say that we do the best with what we have. I get a lot of questions about if I'm going to be looking to move into a bigger place soon because I know that the kids will be needing more space. And yes, we are wanting to move into a bigger place, but for now, this is where we're at and this is where we've been for a little while now. So if you're not following me over on Instagram, make sure you head over. My name is katie.satilli. I'll just put my handle right here on the screen. And I asked over there on my Instagram if you guys had any questions about fitting three kids in one room. And I had a lot of you guys ask questions and so I'm gonna try to implement them into this video so let's get started so the first tip that I have for you is keeping all their shoes in one place so that they're organized and they're organized by person so I have a bin down here in my bathroom for each kid and I have their shoes in each of their bins so that is what works best for us that way, because we have a two story, it doesn't end up um, cluttering down here at the bottom of the stairs because we used to have that issue of just shoes kind of like piling up, waiting to go upstairs and then we couldn't find them when we needed them and all that stuff. So what we have found to work best for us is to get shoe bins downstairs so that they are ready down here when the kids are ready to leave the house. Another tip that I have is just to have one dresser for all three kids so i know this might be a little bit daunting for some people but i think that it helps us a lot because the less furniture in the room the better so what i do is i give each kid a drawer so they have their own space for their pants and pajamas so i have one drawer for my son one drawer for my second son and then one drawer for my daughter and then the bottom drawer which is the fourth drawer is all their socks and I have it divided into three spaces so that each of them have socks and underwear my youngest doesn't have underwear yet we have each drawer designated for what is in it now another thing that I love doing here on my channel is decluttering and organizing I love using Dollar Tree bins to declutter and organize my whole house and so if you haven't yet make sure you check out some of my cleaning and decluttering and organizing videos I'll make sure that they're linked in the description box or like here in the i cards and you will love them I promise basically I go through my kids room and I am organizing all of their toys because if the toys aren't organized the room is a disaster so I have them organized per bin so I have the bins labeled and then I have every bin has like a specific thing that goes in it i know it's a little bit like extra but i feel like with three kids if you don't have the toys organized and under control it will be completely chaotic and disastrous in their room another tip that i have is just to have little space in the closet for each child so i have um from one metal rod to the next metal rod is one kid and then so on and then so on so each child has their own space to hang their coats and jackets and shirts and all that kind of stuff so um if they have too much stuff we have to get rid of it so if it doesn't fit in that spot that is something that i just feel like is a huge thing for fitting multiple kids in a room is if there's not enough room for it then something has to go so it's kind of like that minimalist a little bit mentality which is just like if you don't really need it if we don't wear this all the time if we have grown out of it it is out of the house so that is one way that i like to keep the kids in one room so the next tip is to have bunk beds now stacking up vertical is like one of my favorite things to do in the kids room i like to stack bins on top of each other and beds on top of each other because going horizontal is not an option but going up vertical is an option so like a tall dresser instead of a horizontal dresser or two beds on top of each other instead of having two separate beds because that would literally take up the entire room so that's another tip is just to get bunk beds Another thing I like to do is I use the kids bathroom for storage. So if you saw in my most recent declutter and organize with me in my kids room, I decluttered the bathroom because there was all kinds of stuff in there that we literally never use. So underneath the sink and then there was a closet in their bathroom that was filled with like napkins and placemats and 
all kinds of stuff that we just don't use for the house. So we donated a bunch of stuff and we got more space. And so I put some of their toys or some of their puzzles and I even have some extra space that's not even being used right now. So that just makes my mother heart happy because that means if a birthday comes up, we have space to put stuff in and we all know that birthdays will come up. So that's another way that I like to keep everybody in one small space is I extend it into the bathroom. So another thing that I like to do is just to have a mentality of less is more, trying to keep things very minimal. Like if we have too much stuff and it's starting to get really messy, that means that we have to do a declutter video because I do those on here. But we do declutter videos because it helps us so much. It helps us have more space. Every time I do a declutter video, I feel the difference in my home. Like I can feel so much more at peace and like I don't have to clean as often because there's just less stuff. Part of the way that we do that is we're really strategic about the gifts that come into our home. So gifts from family or gifts from ourselves to our kids, whether it be like Christmas time or birthdays, I feel like it's really easy to just get like a lot of toys into the house. But sometimes we'll do like, we'll ask for ballet lessons or something that like a trip somewhere or money towards certain things that might be smaller and can go in a container. I'm really obsessed with the containers. <laughs> it's kind of a problem, but it's a good problem. Now, if you're curious why we live this way, I will say that it is very expensive to live here in Los Angeles. It is just a sacrifice that you have to make if you want to be here. I was born and raised here. I know a lot of people ask like, why do I stay here? And I was born and raised here. So my family and all my friends and everything I've ever known is here in Los Angeles. And so I just haven't had a reason to leave yet. That doesn't mean that we will never leave or that we won't be moving into a bigger space. That's something that is one of our goals that we're working towards right now is getting ourselves into a bigger space because I mean, it's just, it's not, it's not our favorite thing to be all crammed into one space, but it's what our reality is right now. So we just make the best of it. And just to give you a little idea of what the prices are here in our area, it's about 400 to 450,000 to get into a condo that is three bedrooms. And the mortgage on that is like 3000 a month. So that's just not something that we can do right now. And that's moving into a condo, not even a house. So anyways, I just had to mention that because I know a lot of people ask me questions of like, why do we live in this small space? That's like the main question that I get anytime I bring this topic up. So I wanted to mention like the specifics and the details of why we haven't moved yet. We want to and our goal is to, but we just haven't done it quite yet. So anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any tips down in the comments. I know that a lot of you guys who watch these videos have kids, multiple kids in one room. So I'd love to hear your tips or if you have any ideas that you think would be helpful for me. I would love to hear those and then we can all kind of learn from each other down in the comments. So anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.